Hey, this is Asaf Levavi from LinkedInRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, we're going to learn a fingerstyle arrangement I made especially for you guys and girls of Ghost Riders in the Sky, the wonderful Johnny Cash song. First, I'm going to play for you so you can see and hear how it goes, and then we're going to break it down lick by lick, chord by chord, with tabs on the screen right here. And um, first, it goes like this. Okay, so this only has three chords in it. A minor, C, and F. Right? Now this employs very heavy Travis picking. Now if you don't know how to Travis pick, I've got an introductory lesson for it called 20 Beginner Travis Picking Exercises. You can go watch it now, you can go uh, watch it after we learn this. I'm gonna teach you the rudimentary melody and harmony and then you can employ the Travis Picking so you can learn this song and then have something to practice Travis Picking on. It's your choice. Now, um, for those of you who know Travis Picking, the Travis Picking pattern that I use um, is this. I just add strings between the, between the bass notes. The bass notes, of course, alternate. Okay, in A minor, for example, it's gonna be the A and D strings. Okay, I just add different strings between them, like this. Now, um, what I do is just let my fingers play. I might play strings 3, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2. You know, it's half improvised. Um, the important thing is to keep the uh, thumb finger, thumb finger, thumb finger, thumb finger pattern going. Uh, that creates kind of a banjo feel. to repeat uh, a note if you want and also you can uh, pick a chord every now and then just for emphasis okay something like this just try different patterns out the main motif is the thumb finger, thumb finger, thumb finger, thumb finger, and just alternating between different patterns of the first three strings. That's what I do here. You don't have to do it, but that's just how I do it. All right, um, let's start. The, there's a verse and then there's a chorus. Both of them are very, very simple melody-wise. And once you employ the Travis picking, it all sounds really, really complicated, but it really isn't. It's all inside the chords. So you start with A minor and you pick this, the D string. Then you pick the G string three times and you add the 
A bass to the first G string. Okay? All inside the A minor chord, so both D and G strings are on two. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you where to add the bass notes if you're learning the basic way to play this. Okay, that's where the bass notes are anyway, including and Travis picking. But if you want to play the very, very simple version, that's the way to do it. Okay, add the bass with the first G string. Then on the second string, the B string, you play 0, 1, 1, 1, and you add the A bass again with the first 1. Okay, so... Then you play the G string again, and then you turn uh, this chord into C. And you play the G string three times and play the C bass with the first G string. Now, um, I alternate between the C and G bass notes here. Okay, I do this. Okay, because if we do this, This is kind of this, okay, the head of the C chord is kind of cluttered, okay, the sound is kind of muddy. So if you change it into G, this creates an interesting sound, so, okay, this, the, the counterpoint there on the bass notes helps balance out the muddiness, so, um, that, that's just my choice, you don't have to do it, you can stay on the C chord and not alternate the bass notes with C and G. But that's my preference. So, um, we were here. Right? So if you play the G string, uh, the G, the G string, you are playing the G string. If you want to play the G bass, just play it with the last G string. So you have C, G. Okay, the C bass comes along with the first G string, then a G string by itself, then a G string with the G bass. And then the D string on two, okay, you're still with the chord, and then put the C bass on again and play the C bass and the G string. Okay, and you can keep the bass notes going. So. Um, so, this is the first line, A minor, C, G. A minor, C, C over G, C, G, C, G. Okay, it's C and C over G. Both are C chords because the G note is inside the C chord. So that's our first line. And with Travis Pecking. Okay? With the picking pattern I showed you. Um, okay, so the second line repeats the A minor lick. Exactly the same thing. Okay? Or without Travis Pecking. Um, okay? Um, and then three on the second string, then C again, and the melody is this. Okay, it's just the open E string three times, play the bass with the first time, and then second string, first string. Okay, second string on one, of course, this is a C chord. Okay, and then this. Yeah, this is the next line. So, open E string and then this A minor. You bar the first, second, third strings on five and add 7 on the 4th string 
and you play this with the open A string, of course. So you have five, 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 seven, open A bass, open fifth string. So um, the melody, this is your chord. The melody is just this. No, sorry. Okay, so you play this with the A bass, it's just the E string on five. And then at the end there, uh, eight five on the second string with your pinky. Okay, so. Or actually it's just, sorry, my, my confusion. Um, it's just eight on the second string because this note is the open E string and you're playing it on C, so. Okay, so. All you have here is the chord, and at the end you play eight on the second string with your pinky. That's it for this chord. Then C, and you play the E string with the bass, then you play the E string twice again, and then three on the second string, and then A minor. Okay, the melody note again is the open E string, okay? So this was what we played. Okay, and you have time for the picking pattern. And then the final line, open G string, then F. Now you play the F bass along with the D string on three and you play okay, the D string four times and then the bass along with the second string on one and you play the one three times, the C note. You play it three times. So Now, as you've seen in Travis picking, I play it like this. Um, I just play the bass notes. Okay, to give uh, the 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 um, the notes, the melody notes, their emphasis there because they're supposed to be ominous. So there is no room for the picking pattern here. Uh, so that's just my opinion. I just play the bass notes here. back to the pattern if I want to. So the next line is A minor and you're still actually on F when you do this. You play the... Um, you can you can play two on the G string, which is the note you need. You can play it while you're still on F or you can make the transition into A minor and play the G string on two. Okay, it's the same note for both chords. It all depends on whether, on when you feel comfortable making the transition uh, into the next chord. So uh, this note, okay, the A note, and then A minor, and you play one on the second string with the bass, and on the third string you play two two zero two. Okay. So you had this. Okay. Okay. So that's the end of the verse. Then you repeat this. You play F and A minor again. You play the same lines. Um. Okay. I just harmonized with the lower string here. Okay. Um, okay, so this is the verse. Let's go over it again. A minor. C over G, then A minor again, C, 
the high A minor. Eight on the B string, C. Three on the second string, A minor. F. A minor. Again. Okay, so the chorus. E string three times, you're on A minor. This is the melody. E string. Then C, you play the E string again with the C bass. And then add three on the E string. Okay? And then this. Finger, first finger, index finger on the forefinger on the um, synonyms on the uh, on three on the A string. It's still C. This is the C bass, and you play five with your pinky on the E string, and you play you play five twice, and then three on the E string, then five pull off to three and then zero on the E string or double pull off. Okay, you can pick the zero, you can do a double pull off, it's your choice, with the A bass. And then quickly put on the A minor chord, try not to touch the E string when you do this, so it will keep on ringing. Okay, and continue playing the A minor. Okay, so it's... Um, Now, um, what I do here, here, uh, on C, I use the G string as my second bass note, if you're using Travis picking, okay, because the open G string is inside the C chord, so I use that as my second bass note, and on A, I just skip a bass note there, and go on because any uh, other note won't be related to A minor. So I just skip a bass um, and I play this as a long note. Um, okay, and then I... That's the wrong BPM. Um, and then I, um, I just continue the A minor chord. Now... Um, you can play the bass note, the A bass note, twice, but in my opinion that would sound even worse than skipping a bass note. Because if you skip a bass note, then chances are nobody will notice. But if the ear is uh, used to hearing different bass notes, alternating bass notes all the time, and suddenly one bass note shows itself twice, then it sticks out. That's why I prefer skipping a bass note. And then... Um, F and A minor again. Now the F line here is almost the same as the F line in the verse, but this time it's just okay, Ghost Riders in the and then sky. So there yeah, you play the bass with three on the D string, and then you play. You wait a second, and then you play three on the D string twice again. And then you play one on the B string twice. And then A minor, and the melody note is just two on the G string with your bass note. Okay? So that's... That's the final line of the chorus. So the chorus... A minor, F, A minor, with Travis Becking.
that's basically what I do. Um, so before you go practice this, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons waiting for you, so why not? Just click subscribe and join the community. Go download the tab from the website. There's a link in the description below. And the tabs are for free, just like this lesson is for free. Everything is free on Lick and Riff, thanks to your support. If you want to support and help out, uh, help me make these lessons, make time to make the arrangements and make the lessons, uh, you, there's a donation button and you can donate whatever you choose to donate and it all comes back into Lick and Riff into working on these lessons. So I thank you in advance for any donation you choose to make and for your help. Now, you go practice this and make your own arrangement of this. Play the picking pattern in any way you want. You can play this in a mellow way as well. Okay. Okay, you can make your own arrangement. You can make of it whatever you want. Okay, you don't have to play it like I do. Choose your own style. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very, very much for watching and go have fun. Bye for now.